My name is Ashton Gatewood. I am a third year osteopathic medical student at the Oklahoma State University College of Osteopathic Medicine at Cherokee Nation. And to introduce myself in Choctaw, which is one of my tribes, I would say, Halito Jimichukma Su Huchiftua Ashton Chata Sai. Ashton has seen how important cultural competency can be for patients. One day, she was working at the Oklahoma City Indian Clinic. A Muscogee family came in for an appointment they had with a dietitian. We had a patient one time that come in um, with some marks on, on the child's arm and one of the dietitians was concerned, is this child abuse? Like, what do I do? Ashton had never seen scratches like this before. So she called over another nurse who was Muscogee. That nurse explained that the marks were part of a healing ceremony. The family was able to finish their appointment with the dietitian and got advice on how to make sure the scratches didn't get infected. You know, if that family had gone to a non-tribal clinic and seen a non-tribal provider, that could have come around into like a child abuse report. It could have triggered a whole chain of adverse experiences that could have had long-term impacts as far as influencing when and how that family accessed healthcare. So who cares for you really matters. The problem is there aren't that many indigenous doctors. Of the 700,000 physicians in the United States, less than 1% identify as American Indian or Alaska Native. This season of KHN's American Diagnosis podcast is all about indigenous public health. For our latest episode, we spoke with students like Ashton to hear why representation matters in medicine and what can be done to help train more indigenous doctors and get them practicing in their own communities. Feeling like you belong in that community is actually starting to show really makes a big impact on student success and prevention of burnout. Hear more from Ashton and other indigenous voices on this season of American Diagnosis, wherever you get your podcasts.